Mabuhay Pilipinas! Pinabati namin kayo muli mula dito sa loob ng arena sa lungsod ng San Juan sa pagpapatuloy ng second round of elimination sa men's basketball tournament sa season 91 ng NCAA. At ngayon, Arellano University magpapamalas ng galing kontra sa LPU Pirates sa ating pangalawang laban ngayong Tuesday. Sa ating unang laro, nagtagumpay ang mapuha kontra sa JRU 68 to 67 at ngayon naman Arellano University susubukang makamit ang kanilang ikasyam na panalo ngayong season It is the Chiefs versus the Pirates kumpunan ni Coach Jerry Codinera kontra sa kumpunan ni Coach Topex Robinson Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtutok ngayon sa ABS-CBN Sports in Action sa Ball Sky Cable Channel 167 and High Definition at nais din po namin batil at lahat ng aming mga kababayan watching from all over the world via the Filipino channel and hello also to everybody watching via live streaming on TFC.TV Para sa ABS-CBN Sports ako po ang inyong lingkod ang Thorn Ross at makakasama natin muli para ma-break down itong bakbakan sa pagitan ng Chiefs at Pirates walang iba kundi ang point guard na si Mikey Reyes Good afternoon Mikey Good afternoon Anton Good afternoon to everyone watching us at home Itong dalawang teams so baka isipin nila hindi match pero last game nila muntik pa masilat nitong Lyceum ang Arellano kaya Very exciting matchup we have today. Pero siyempre, sa puntong ito ng ating tournament, Mikey, iba na ang sitwasyon ng dalawang pupunan. Itong Arellano University, nasa itaas ng team standing, samantalang itong LPU, trying to stay alive. Well, the Arellano Univer University Chiefs, eh gusto nga lampasan itong perpetual help o kaya itay sila. Kaya nandun sila ngayon sa fourth place and they will need each win para gumanda at maklinch nila ang kanilang final four spot. While the LPU Pirates may chance pa sila mathematically kaya pa. But they will have to win their remaining games. Pero more importantly, they added exposure, they added experience. Yun ang tinitinay ni Coach Topex to build for their future. Alam mo Mikey, maganda yung sinabi mo kanina. Nung unang nagtapat itong LPU at Arellano, it was a close game. 80 to 78 ang final score in favor of Arellano University. And Joseph Gabayni had an opportunity para maitabla ang laro. Kaya lang nabitawan niya ang bola sa dulo. Eksakto, Anton. Malay natin, baka kung nag-overtime yun, eh baka nasilat pa talaga ng, L ang, ng LPU ang AU. Pero Giovanni Alalon, as usual, as usual, hindi nagbabago. 20 points and 12 assists. Pero siya kalanin. Also did work. 20 points din siya. And it will be exciting to see Ano ba nila makokontain itong AU na talagang on fire recently sa ating liga? And they're going to have to find some way to contain AU without the Defensive Player of the Year na si Joseph Gabayni not playing with a team for the fourth straight game. Pero mabuti sa LPU side. Maraming nagsa-step up gaya ni Victor Gijol. At syempre, ang starting small forward ni Coach Topex Robinson na si Wilson Baldazar. Ito nga, eksakto. Ang sinasabi ko kanina, they have to build for the future. And Baltazar, last game against the San Sebastian Stags, 15 points. And because of that, yun na nga, nakuha nila yung, yung close game na yun. Pero at the end of the day, yun na nga, they have to build for the future. Baltazar, with Joel, Sakalanes. So I, I believe to Coach Topex Robinson is looking forward. Maybe not this season. Mathematically, kaya pa. Pero they have to look forward. They have to look for next next season, the following years. Kaya itong mga players na to katulad ni Baltazar, we need to step up dito sa final games natin this season. Napantayan ni Wilson Baltazar ang kanyang season high sa kanilang huling laban. But speaking of the Arellano side, Mikey, Giovanni, the bus driver, halalon. Isa na namang napakalupit na performance ang kanyang pinakita, triple-double in overtime against Perpetual. If you remember, Anton, tinawag ko siyang best point guard in college early in the first round pa lang. Nagulat ka nun. Eh, 32 points, 10 rebounds, 15 assists. He does not disappoint. And talaga nagmukha akong magaling na analyst because he is really showing us what he can do. Pero it will be exciting to see kung paano ba matatapatan ng LPU itong si Giovanni. Wala pang team ang nakakastop sa kanya. So makikita natin kung finally LPU ba yun. Mikey, we will be breaking that down later. I will be asking you so many questions as to how LPU will try to stop Giovanni the bus driver halalon. At upang makompleto ang ating ABS-CBN Sports Broadcast Team ngayon at upang malaman ninyong lahat kung paano kayo may kasali sa ating usapan sa social media, punta natin ang pakatlong miyembro ng ABS-CBN Sports Broadcast Team na si Roxanne Montelega. Roxanne! Maraming salamat, Anton. Ngayon, mga pamilya, alamin naman natin ang question natin for the day. Aling team ang huwara ng kagitingan? 
Kung gusto niyo sagutin yan, gamitin niyo lamang ang hashtag NCAA Season 91, hashtag Galing LPU at hashtag Galing AU. At kung gusto naman silipin ang team rankings, bumisita lamang sa sports.abs-cbn.com. At syempre, huwag niyo rin kalimutan itag kami ang mga sports analyst niyo at ako at Roxanne Montealegre at ang napakagwapo kong kasama ni si Anton Rojas at Mr. Pure Business at Twitter account niya at ang bad boy ng hardcore na si Mikey Reyes, Mikey.Reyes. Kaya guys, mag-tweet na kayo kasi we really wanna hear from you. Anton? Maraming salamat, Roxanne. O ano say mo doon? Bad boy ka daw ng hardcore, bad boy ng panel, Mikey. Sinungaling ko si Roxanne. <laughs> Pero magandang laro to, Anton. Yes. Let's go! Excited na nga ang ating mga fans from Arellano University. Kaya sa aming pagpabalik, banggana sa pagitan ng LPU at AU, eto po ang NCAA Season 91. Ilabas ang galing! Once again, good afternoon. Excitement never stops here at the Pinoy Flying B Arena as we bring you the 91st season of NCAA LPU versus AU. And here are the starting five of your Lyceum Pirates! At guard number four, Richmond Sunga. At the other guard number 13, Shaquille Alanes. Forward number 14, G. M. Bida. Also a known for number 15, Mer Ayai. Coming in at center number 18, Jeff Bulawan. Head coach for the Pirates is Topex Robinson. And now, the starting five of your Arellano Chiefs. Forward number five, Brian Mecca. At guard number 6, Giovanni Halalon. Forward number 10, John C. Hawks. At guard number 11, Donald Kumaru. Mabuhay Pilipinas at maraming salamat muli sa inyong pagtutok ngayon. Starting lineups para sa dalawang kumunan, LPU at AU. The Pirates going with Richmond Sunga, Shaquille Ananes, Jeff Bulawan, DM Bida, at Jesper Ayaya. At para naman sa panic ng Arellano, Giovanni Halalon, Donald Gumaru, Dionzi Holtz, Julius Cadavis, at Brian Mecca. At nakagulat itong adjustment na ginawa ni Coach Topex Robinson. Victor Gijol, who has been rising as a scorer and a defender and as an overall basketball player coming off the bench today, Mikey. Well, that is a surprising adjustment by Coach Topex. Pero baka gusto niyang i-conserve medyo yung energy nitong si Victor. Alam naman natin, 100% siya every time he is on the floor. Victor actually started the last four games para sa LPU. Kaya naman nakakagulat itong adjustment na ginawa ni Coach Topex Robinson. Now Giovanni, the bus driver, Halalon, is a guy who has been on a roll dito sa second round of eliminations. The bus driver who outscored Perpetual in overtime, 11-9, to scoring right away ngayong araw. It, it, it will be hard to stop itong bus driver nga ng Arellano, but they will have to find a way 
if they want to win this game. Now, if you were Coach Topex Robinson, what type of strategy would you employ para mapigilan itong si Giovanni? Ako, personally, what I would want him to do is to shoot from the outside. Pero kita mo naman itong drive ni Giovanni. That time, he shot from the inside. Master Guapo move of the quarter. Watch out for more Guapo moves powered by Master Secreto ng mga Guapo. But like what, like what I was saying, I would rather him shoot from the outside. Yes, he, his, his jumper has improved by a lot since last season. Pero kukunin ko pa rin. I'll take, I'll take what he can give me from the outside. Kesa yung the drive siya, magkakreate siya. Yung floater niya, napakadali para sa kanya nun. So, kahit makashoot siya from, from the outside, medyo bibigay ko na rin sa kanya yun. Anton, wag lang niya masama lahat ng kakampi niya. Alam mo, Mikey, talagang inaaral mo yung stats nitong si Giovanni Halalo na kasi he's only shooting 37.8% from beyond the arc and doesn't really take a lot of three. 17 out of 45 for the season. Exactly. And when you pressure him, you challenge him to beat you off the dribble. Yan naman sinasabi natin. At nakakakreate siya para sa mga kakampi niya. And that's when Giovanni, the bus driver Halalo, is at his best. Attacking and creating para sa kanya mga kakampi. Exactly. So I believe, let him score 40. Pero yung iba makontain mo, baka big chance na manalo ka pa rin eh. You know, we've been talking so much about Giovanni Halalon because of his stellar performance in the second round. Imagine, this guy is averaging 29.3 points per game in the second round. 29 points per game. Pero yung assists niya, Anton, off the charts. Off the charts, 9.8 for the season number one in the league. Exactly what I was saying. If you can cut that down, maybe in half, malaking bagay na yun kasi hindi magkakakumpiyansa yung mga kakampi niya. Giovanni gives them easy shots eh. So talagang umangat kumpiyansa nila every time. And to get more about Giovanni Halalon, let's get right now to Roxanne Montelegra at courtside. She was able to speak with Giovanni a while ago. Roxanne? Yes, salamat Anton. Para sa Arellano Chiefs, hindi lang bus driver si Giovanni Halalon, kundi siya mismo ang makina or engine ng both Dahil sabi nga niya, priority niya is to guide his teammates whom he considers as brothers. But if all else fails, he is going to take charge and shoot at will. And as a player who has been improving since day one, meron pa siyang extra motivation today because his family came all the way from CDO just to watch him play. Enough na kaya ang confidence ni Giovanni para malagtagan ang two-game winning streak ng Arellano Chiefs. Yan ang aalamin natin mamaya. Anton? Maraming salamat, Roxanne, at binabati namin ang pamilya ni Giovanni Halalon, especially ang kanyang tatay na si Vicente, the guy who introduced his son to the sport of basketball. Ngayon naman, ang tinuturuan ni Giovanni, ang kanyang kapatid na si Jericho, na lagi niyang kasama. So talagang pinapasa niya yung mga natututunan niya sa nakababata niyang kapatid. Ito, simpleng tao lang kung si Giovanni, but then the way he plays, talagang iba'y extraordinary. Eh. Deontay Holtz, coach Jericho Deniera is hoping for an extraordinary performance from him, but he throws the ball away. Na agaw ni Shaquille Alanes ang kasulugoyang leading scorer ng LPU ngayon, averaging 11.7 points per game. Etong LPU kailangan from the start makakuha na sila ng momentum kasi ayaw mong mabawon pag kalaban mo ang Arellano Chiefs. Halalon pinasa sa kanto Mecca for three. At eto na si Jeb Bulawa, the slam dunk champion, taking off from close to the free throw line. Bitin na naman ang kanyang layup. Hindi niya na dunk eh. Slam dunk champion natin. Gusto i-lay up lang. I-dunk mo na, pare ko. Gusto kasi niya, Mikey, na tatalunan niya si Otep Kabaini. <laughs> Yun ang kanyang ginawa upang manalo sa slam dunk championship which took place at our all-star game. Beyond C. Holtz, una putos ngayong araw. This space right now that we are seeing favors the Arellano Chiefs kasi sanay sila sa takbuhan. Medyo mapapansin mo nga, wala masyadong play itong si Coach Jerry but that is his system and it works. Here it ni Sad X, di ako makalis ng bahay kasi naglalaro itong si the bus driver. Go Halalon at eto na nga, si Giovanni Halalon with a killer crossover, drops it down low to Cadavis na tapik ang bola. Pirit naman ni Shane Gabriel, nagmamadali sa pag-uwi dahil manunod ng laban ng AU at LPU. Habol na. At eto naman si Carlo X Menor. Let's go Pirates, beat the Chiefs. So keep those tweets coming. Include the hashtag Galing LPU at Galing AU. Coach Topex Robinson 
in a very tough spot now sa pagkat ang kanyang kumunan. 3 and 9 sa team standings. With 6 games to go in the season. But exactly, yung 6 games na yun will be very crucial sa future nitong LPU because if they can get confidence and experience from those 6 games, malaking bagay yun coming into the next season. Rare turnover by Giovanni Halalon on that pass intended for Cadavis. Kaya naman babalik ang bola dito sa panic ng LPU. I really believe that if they can force Giovanni into a bad game, yung bad game sa standards niya ha, kasi yung bad game niya maganda pa rin sa maraming tao, eh malaking bagay na yun at magkakaroon ka ng malaking chance ha, manalo sa game na to. Bulawan, looking for Alanis who went back door, supalpal si Embida. Deontay Holtz showing us the defensive prowess. Mecca, pinasa kay Holtz. Holtz, top of the key, pinasa kay Gumaru for three. Donald Gumaru knocks it down. The first triple of the game. Gumaru. Arellano, laban kontra sa LPU, 8-2. to two. Wag po kayong alis, magbabalik po ang Season 91 ng NCAA. Ilabas ang kalit. Yan yung pong natuto ngayon ng kampo ng LPU na medyo nahihirapan sa kanilang huling dalawang laro. Two-game losing streak, Mikey. And we see the top scorer, Shaq Alanis, really struggling dito sa second round. As what you were saying, Anton, Victor Gajol has stepped it up coming into this second round natin. Pero he will need help from these three players. Four points, four points, three points. That will not cut it if LPU wants to beat a team like the Arleana Chiefs. Five minutes and 55 seconds remaining in the first quarter of a very important matchup para sa dalawang kumaran, LPU and AU. And we'd like to take this opportunity to greet ang ating napakasipag na courtside reporter na si Myrtle Sarosa na nag-tweet kanina. Sabi niya, hardcore heartthrob daw itong <laughs> kasama ko daw lang daw. na si daw Mikey lang. Reyes. <laughs> Mertz, hi Mertz. At saka ikaw daw ang mentor niya, sabi niya. Then, napakasipag talaga niya si Myrtle Sarosa. Sometimes I don't believe how she's able to do it. Umagang kay ganda, NCAA, voice rehearsals, and everything else in between. Abangan po ninyo si Myrtle sa Your Face Sounds Familiar this coming malapit Saturday na, na po. Malapit na, It will be very exciting kung paano mo yung mix ni Myrtle lahat yun. And we'll see Myrtle again dito sa NCAA Season 91 on Friday. Thank you so much, Myrtle, for watching. 10 to 2 ang ating talaan. Arellano University in control. Cadavis, pinasa sa loob. Beyonce holds with a hook shot. The ball movement that Arellano is showing dito sa ating early part ng laro natin. Hindi pa masyadong na, 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 na dumidiscarit na si Giovanni. Pero lamang sila, 12 to 2. Victor, pinasok na ni Coach Topex Robinson. Victor, showing us some newly acquired moves. <laughs> and a newly acquired stat. On his other arm, yan si Victor Gijol nga, pinapakitahan tayo ng galaw. I like that adjustment. Hindi sila mga anak ng opensa kanina. And Victor right on cue. Kaya lang, naiwanan siya sa galaw na yun. Si Julius Cadavis, Victor caught napping. I really like the game of Julius Cadavis. Meron din tong short jumper. Malaking bagay yun for a team na may Giovanni Halalon pa. Jesper Ayay, one of the players who has really stepped up, gets smothered by the Yonzi Holt sa kanyang pag-atake sa basket. Balikan natin itong strong move of the game brought to you by PLDD Home DSL, the number one home broadband cannabis. Nakita si Deontay Holtz. At ito naman ang unang punto sa laban ni Victor Gijol who is now averaging 11.6 points per game. Copico, 78 best recharge moment brought to you by Copico 78. Copico's best latte ever. <laughs> Masarap nga itong Copico na na. Try ko ito sa likod eh. And I'm happy nga na nakasama natin ngayon ng copy ko dito sa ating Season 91. Victor, pinasa sa kanto. Jumper is good para kay Wilson Baltazar 
Unang puntos para kay Baltazar. Lyceum needs to make stops if they want to get closer dito sa Arellano. Halalot. Looking for an opening. Halalot. Umatras. Halalot. Pinasa sa loob. Mecca turns, fires, and connects another assist oh, yeah. for the bus driver. But I like the defense that Lugo showed. Doon, kalaban niya si Halalon. Obviously, Halalon is quicker and faster. Pero nilayawan niya, pinigyan niya space para ma-anticipate niya yung galaw ni Halalon. Although, the other four, kailangan nilang tulungan and to stay within the passing lanes. Gumaru, uh, na agaw ang bola. Mecca, dire-direcho for the fast break layup. Arellano comes out running dito sa ating first quarter. And LPU, hindi pa nakakasabay dun sa intensity. At gana na pinapakita ng Arellano. Bagsak itong si Wilson Baltazar, slow to get up. Halalon, umatake, may tinawag na foul dito kay Jesper Ayaay. That's what I like about Giovanni Halalon. Talagang matapang at idadrive niya kahit anong mangyari. Fast play of the game brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broad band. Brown Becca, laying it in for two. Ito na pinakamalaking kalamangan sa ating laban. Pabor sa Arellano University, 18 to 6. This is exactly what I was saying. Ayaw mong mabaon pagkalaban mo ang Chiefs. Alam mo naman na pag nagkakumpiyansa itong mga to, lalo na from the outside, eh talagang mas babaonin ka nito through the game. Giovanni Halalon, third year playing in the NCAA. Zach Nichols, one of the most deadly scores from the bench in the entirety of NCAA Season 91. And one of the deadliest shooters dito sa ating liga. Yan ang sinasabi natin. When he comes in, Giovanni knows na, okay, kailangan ko na set up kagad si Nichols para makakuha na ng kumpiyansa because they will need him, especially kung matikitan sila ng LPU down the stretch. Itong Arellano, maraming interchangeable parts. When you bring in a certain player, nag-iiba ang ihip ng hangin. Like when you bring in the conductor, pinagsama mo ang bus driver at conductor, biglang bibilis ang Arellano. Pag pinasok mo itong si Zach Nichols, nagkakaroon bigla ng shooting. But what happens when you bring in any ongolo ongolo? Ah, talagang nagkakagulo, especially from down low. Especially the defense of ongolo ongolo biglang nagiging defensive-minded itong Arellano. But sakto yung sinabi mo, pag pinasok itong si Giovanni starts and then Salado comes in, so nagsaslide sa two position tong si Halalon. And then when Nichols comes in and plays the three, Salado, Halalon, Nichols. Dalawang umaatake, dalawang naghahanap ng papasahan. And they have Nichols to bail them out if they need the three from the outside. So talagang maraming lineup ang pwedeng pagpilian itong si Coach Jerry and it will be up to him lang kung anong lineup ang gagamitin niya at a specific moment in a game. Now a head scratcher of a moment here tinawagan ng unsportsmanlike foul itong si Giovanni Halalon, Mikey. Maybe hinihila ba niya yung jersey nitong si Ayaay? I believe yun lang ang pwedeng mangyari because that was from an inbound play. Itong press break ng LPU, pinakita rin nila ito against Letran a few days ago. Yung four, four players magpo-form ng line dun sa may backcourt tapos may isang tatakbo. And I was telling Coach Topics na kakaiba itong press break niya because you want to spread the floor sana. Pero it works for them. Nadikita nila yung letran if not pumutok yung Mark Cruz. 3 minutes and 12 seconds ang natitirang oras dito sa ating first quarter. Bola ng LPU. Desperate times para sa Pirates ngayon. 3 and 9 sa team standings. Lugo. Pinagsak ang bola, Victor Gijon, smothered by two Arellano blue shirts, halts, lazy pass, natapik ni Soliman, Victor Gijol, who up steps sa loob, Victor Gijol na naman! The patience of Victor Gijol down low, talaga umaangat, ito yung pump fake na yun to get halts in the air and finish. Five double-doubles in the last six games para kay Victor Gijol, will he get another one? Yan po ang ating abangan. Huwag po kayong aalis. Ito po ang Season 91 ng NCAA. Ilabas ang galing.
Beyonce Holtz. You know, I, I've talked to Coach Jericho Diniera many times about Beyonce because the reigning Rookie of the Year is not performing up to expectations. At sinabi ni Coach Jericho Diniera, he's not losing faith in Beyonce. He has a lot of trust in him. And he envisions Beyonce to become a dominating force as a big man dito sa NCAA. Pero ang maganda na pinapakita ni Beyonce ngayon, he may, he may not be scoring as well as he used to, pero yung rebounds niya was there. And then you still see yung blocks niya, so he's helping out in other ways other than scoring. But of course, we ni welcome ni Coach Jerry pag medyo pumutok na to, especially from the outside. Deonsi holds only three double doubles this season for AU. But AU in a good position right now as a team standings 8 and 4. Victor Gijol, five double doubles, as I mentioned a while ago. So, siyempre, hindi magpapatalo si Deonsi Holtz sa isang rookie, katulad ni Victor Gijol. Oh, naman, pero Victor being the, the monster that he is recently, eh, talagang bibigay niya kay, kay Holtz itong A-game niya for sure. Samantala, Jesper Ayaay, sumaksak, tinawagan ng foul. Ako, may tanong ako sa'yo, okay. Anton. Balik ta rin natin ng konti. Napansin mo ba yung socks nitong Cannonball Lugo? Napansin mo ba yung socks niya? <laughs> Magkaiba ang Magkaiba. medyas nitong si Noah Lugo. Hindi kaya may ano yan. <laughs> Kasi yung mga player, di ba, Mikey, may mga superstitions yan. Ano sa tingin mo naman ng uh, superstition nitong si Noah the Cannonball Lugo? Hindi ko ma-explain, pero siguro pag gumandalaro niya dito, gagawin na naman niya yung next game. Pero he is open to trying new stuff kasi nga hindi pa siya na masyadong nagbe-breakout sa season natin and coach Topex expects a lot from him being a rookie pala. Naalala ko kasi si Tracy McGrady sa All-Star game Rick. magkaiba yung kulay ng sapatos, di ba? Oo, si Tracy ang nagpauso noon. Wala pang alam mo yung hindi pa kita yung socks yun yung uso dati kay Tracy eh. So ito naman magkaiba ng socks din natin ng gagana para kay Noah Lugo. Ang naalala ko na hindi nagpapakita ng socks dito sa NCA si Alan Mangahas ng Mapuha dati. Ho. The snake, Alan mga ha, sikat na sikat yung dati. Parang natawag lang, ay laro ka naman dito. <laughs> Pero pag naglaro naman, talagang papakitaan ka. Napakalupit, napaka-clutch na player, Alan Mangas, one of the NCAA legends, Minus former Papua player. And ito na, I mentioned Gumaru. interchangeable parts. Pinasok na, in-install na ni Jericho Diniera, ang bus driver at ang conductor. Ito na yung offensive unit ng Arellano. Alalon, Salado, and Nichols. Yung dalawang, dalawang magkasama sa bus na to, eh, talaga nagtutulungan para dito sa Arellano. Eh, Nichols there, always ready to fire from the outside. Nichols, right on cue! <laughs> Napasobra yung kanyang tres. <laughs> Alam mo na, he is there to shoot. Alam din niya yon for sure. Kaya nga naman, kakapasok lang, babato agad itong si Nichols. Kasado yan nugget, si Zach Nichols. He's got a cannon on his right arm. Coach Topex Robinson. David Ortega coming in for Giovanni Halalon. Fourth season overall sa NCAA. Coach three years sa San Sebastian College Recoleto sa kanyang alma mater. Ortega, pinasok na rin ni Coach Jericho Diniera. Salado. Nichols. Back to Salado. Salado, umikot. Ortega looking for Panga. Panga kicks it out. Three to shoot. Nichols fires. Offline. Kitang kita yung difference pag wala si Giovanni Halalon. Wala masyado na po control ng opensa nitong Arellano. But Salado is tasked to do that especially when Halalon is on the bench. So we will see. Alam natin magagawa din ni Salado yan because pareha sila ng laro ni Giovanni itong si Salado eh. Parang may dalawa kang Giovanni eh. At nakakatuwa dahil itong si Kent Salado Kinover natin yan sa Philippine Collegiate Champions League. Naglalaro para sa STI Cagayan de Oro. Napansin siya ng Arellano. At Rene Cruz. Great addition for the AU Chiefs. And ang maganda nun, hindi nag-suffer yung minutes nitong si Giovanni Halalon. Talagang nag-aral sila maglaro together to maximize both their potential. Parehong NCAA rookies. Nagbabanggaan ngayon. The Cannonball. At may foul na tinawag sa ilalim. I'm sure Coach Tobix was not happy with that position by Noah Lugo. Pero babawi yan, knowing Noah. 
Copico 78 Best Recharge Moment ng Arellano side. Enjoy na enjoy dito sa loob ng arena sa lungsod ng San Juan. That was brought to you by Copico 78, Copico's Best Latte Ever. Sampo ang kalamangan ng Chiefs. Alan Enriquez. Alan Enriquez. The utility man of Coach Jerry Codiniera. Unang putos dito sa laban na to. It will be very hard to stop itong Arellano and to beat and actually beat them kung lahat gumagawa. Hindi pa masyado si Giovanni today pero lahat gumagawa. 22 to 10 na Anton. Anim na ang nakaka-score sa Arellano side. Victor Gijol pinaatras. Victor Itong si Tico Banca. That's not easy to do. Pero sasabihin at sasabihin natin to Completely different player coming from the first round. Hindi ko alam kung anong ginawa nito sa ating All-Star break. Pero Victor really showing us a lot of new moves. Tsaka parang condition na condition siya ngayon eh. Looking at him. Nag-iba nga eh. Yung minuto eh. Ni Guy Embida, yung team captain ng LPU at yung minuto nitong si Victor Gijol. There was one game in the first round that Gijol only played four minutes actually. And now, I'm assuming he is playing at, a, at an average of 30 plus minutes with the way he is contributing sa game na to. Pero fouls lang eh. Ang magiging problema na si Victor kaya nasisensya sa bench na madalas nitong si Coach Topex. Uh, Victor Gijol had that foul trouble scenario against Perpetual. Uh, talagang uh, hindi siya nakakilos. He fouled out of that game. That's really been his kryptonite. And I'm sure every day pinapaalala sa kanya nitong coaches ng LPU. Victor Gijol, hinabol itong tira ni Alan Enriquez. Pero Zach Nichols nakuha ang kanyang una putos from close range. That time he didn't use a sniper rifle. He used a pistol. What a first quarter. Arellano University starting out guns a-blazing. But Victor Gijol continuing his stellar performance dito sa second round para sa LPU. Alan Enriquez sumali na rin sa scoring picture. 24-13 ang ating talaan. Lamang ang AU kontra sa LPU dito sa Season 91 ng NCAA. Ilabas ang galing.